Is there anything I can help you with? Yeah, I just told you, you can educate the entire office on making sure that they will obey the law okay. to uh, accept IPA requests and forward them to the custodian of records as the law requires you to do. Okay, well, we're going to handle everything we possibly can for policy. Instead of law? So, that's not okay. what I said. Right, well, there's a difference between policy and law. What was your first name? My first name? Yeah. Lieutenant. Your first name is Lieutenant? Yeah. So you think you're funny? No, that's what it starts with, Lieutenant. Uh, your, your mother will name you Lieutenant? No, I'm not going to get an argument with you, sir. You're, I, I want to make sure I handle you appropriately. No, you don't. And I want to make sure that you, your requests are being No, you don't. You want to be a passive-aggressive... So I'm going to call the IPRA unit and find out the best route to handle your request. That's okay. Right. Well, let me know when you got a uh, for sure answer then. Thank you, LT. Have a good day. Okay. Mr. Ingram, yep. is that Do right? Do you want email confirmation or how would you like that? I'll be right here. You can come out and let me know. Okay. Anything else I can help you with? I'm, I'm being cordial with you. I just told you what you can do. Why do you keep asking the same question over and over again? Because you haven't You're not being cordial. You're being passive aggressive. Go. Do your job. Do you understand me? If I understand, you're directing me to do your request. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct. Okay. Yes. Is there any misunderstanding at this point? No. Then go. Okay. Fair enough. On July 18th, 2023, I went into the Albuquerque Police Department to do an open records request for some body cam footage. They are required by law to take these requests and forward them to the open records clerk. I know you guys hate portrait mode, but when I am secretly recording, it is in portrait mode. I wanted to see how they would act with a member of the public that they didn't recognize when they didn't know that they were being recorded. They tried to tell me, just like they tell everyone else, that they cannot take open records requests at the police substation, but they're required by law to take them and forward them to the IPRA clerk. They also love to put innocent little ladies on the front lines so that when you call them out for breaking the law, you're the bully for calling out an innocent little lady. Luckily, right when it was time to call them out, I spotted a lieutenant and dragged him into it as well. Hey, um, I can do records requests online, right? Uh, you'd have to call records to find out. I guess that we don't deal with records. Okay. And Medicaid. Medicaid. Okay. Let me give you the address the and phone number and you can call them. Sure, can I get a piece of paper and a pen? No, you, you want me to write it for you? Uh, I'll write it. I'll, I'll write it down. Uh, so I can just... My name and my on the other side will be the, uh, the report uh, number for this. Can I get one of those bigger pieces of paper, the white one right there? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I have to go, to go ahead. I gotta write something up. Good afternoon. Uh, I move aside and write my open records request on this plain white piece of paper. They often also try to tell you that you have to write it on a special sheet of paper. The law says otherwise. Oh, I'm just writing the uh, records request on here for you. All right. So there's the IPA request. His okay. so up, his um, so I can't accept this as an request, sir. Um, well, in, order, by, in sure. order for this to be honored, you have to go downtown to the main records division. Okay, can I talk to him? Can I talk to you for a second, boss? Sure. I just need to turn in that IPA request. Uh, uh, they said yeah. Uh, that's not how the state law works on it. It can be turned into any public. Wait, do you have an IPRA unit? What's that? Do you have an IPRA unit? They take all those requests. Yeah. Right. right. All those requests go into our station. Okay, so I, I was just going to, I mean, I didn't want to argue with her about it, but yeah. I mean, the state law says that every public employee is required to take IPRA requests, and if you're not the custodian of the records, that you have to personally give it to the custodian of records. I can't hear you. There. I'm trying to tell you what to do. No, I'm trying to tell you that you legally have to do it here. I, I can't hear you with them. You can turn that into them downtown. Well, I turned it into you. And so, what, what's her name? Tamara? Uh, just give it to the records clerk. That's all. Whoever, whoever the custodian of records is, just forward it to them. No, I'm telling you how to do that. <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but I, can you just forward it to the as, as the law requires? No, you do. 
But you don't have the ability. So you think I have the ability to do I something have. that you don't? So you're going to take this and you're going to give it to the records. And I, I actually, so I handed it to so Tamara. I, I, I didn't want to be rude to her, but 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 I'm just trying to help you accomplish what you need to do. So to minimize any confusion, do you want me to pull up the IPRA laws for you to show you that you personally are required to forward it to the? Do you want to come out here? It's hard to hear you through here. So I can get. What's that? I, I can't hear you through here. What was your name? Ingram. Lieutenant Ingram, and you're you're refusing to take an IPRA request. Is that right? No problem. I love that, man. Yeah. So say so you're refusing to take it. Why, why can't you just forward it to the upper clerk? Why can't you just forward it to the custodian of records? I can't take this because it's not on the proper form. And there is no proper form. This is how the law works. I understand you guys may have procedures that don't obey the law, but that's not how I do it. You understand? Sure. Um, you've been served. An IPRA request, and you personally, according to IPRA laws, you personally will be held liable if you don't take care of it. So I would call a superior okay, I am. And, and just make sure that that gets turned in. You have 72 hours before you're personally in trouble. So I didn't, I didn't mean to you know, cause a problem, but I don't understand why it's so difficult you know, to just take the request and do what you're supposed to do with it. All right? So my name, my information, my email, my cell phone number, everything is there. Just ask your superior. They'll tell you you are personally liable for that now, Tamara. Um, and Lieutenant Ingram, I'll go ahead and say that I handed it to you as well. So the two of you can have joint liability on it. You're refusing to follow procedures. Uh, well, your procedures don't obey the law. Do okay. you, you want me to pull the law up for you? No, you don't, because you never pay attention to the law. You just do whatever you want. You're not willing to comply with the... You're not willing to comply with the law. Okay. Your procedures don't comply with the law. You guys are so used to doing whatever you want we'll take this. We'll take this. instead of obeying the law. Thank you. Will you forward it to the IPR clerk or the, or the custodian of records, please? We'll email it to somebody, yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Jesus Christ, son. Hey, guys, how you doing? I'd been told that Albuquerque police typically refused to serve people at their substations, but now I had experienced it myself, and I had witnessed two other people having problems with them while I was in there. I realized when I had to push that hard to get them to obey the law that the average person would just be scared and intimidated when they tell them no, and would never be able to get what they needed. Therefore, I decided that I wasn't just satisfied with them just obeying the law for me. So I went live and went back in and told them that they need to start obeying the law for everyone. How can I help you? Hey, is Lieutenant still here? Uh, no, he's already left the building, but I will have to call for officer assistance based on our last encounter. Oh, you will? Yes. You'll have to call for officer assistance based on our last encounter? Yes, sir. What does that mean? Hey, Mr. Lopez, how you doing? Uh, what's going on? Uh, just trying to make sure that one, my IPRA request gets turned in, and two, nobody ever gets lipped from this woman and that lieutenant again when they try to do an open records request at this uh, location. So we can just make sure that they understand the laws on open records, IPRA requests, Make sure they don't give any other members of the public the kind of crap that they just gave me and uh, confirm that my request will be turned in as required by law. Um, that should be it. So, so what's that? I'll do it. Yep. Okay, so she under, So you're letting everybody know in the office then that, that they will start taking open records requests here? Sure. Yeah, sure? She heard you, and I'm, and I'm here, and the tenant's gone, so. Okay. Well, it seems the lieutenant didn't understand either. So I feel that I really, I mean, obviously, I think mine will get taken care of. Now I'm concerned about the next hundred people who come through the door that they deny service to. Do it a little bit differently, I guess. A little differently? That's the whole problem is that I assume that you'll do what I want and what, what, what the law requires you to do for me, but I'm concerned that you won't do it for everybody else. Are you just trying to start an argument now? All right, cool. I'll just wait in the lobby and make sure to help everybody that comes up so that when you lie to them and tell them you can't do things that you can, I'll let them know you're full of shit. Yeah, All right, you too. Does anybody need any help? If they give you guys any problems whatsoever, just let me know. We'll whip them into shape. I'm getting really sick and tired of coming in here and trying to be polite and just being talked to like I'm a piece of shit and being told, no, we're not going to do what we're required to do by law. And I guarantee it happens to almost everybody else who comes in here too because they were just doing it to the lady who was sitting behind me trying to give her report. I think I'm going to hang out in this lobby now for the next five hours. This is what always happens with me. They know that I'm not going to put up with their crap, 
And so they take care of me. But don't don't be mistaken. They're going to be bullying the next person that walks through this door. That's not fun. Hey, LT, how you doing? Good. Good. Uh, I was just trying to make sure that everybody is retrained in the entire building. After I left, I realized you said that you were going to turn in my upper request, right? But I wanted to make sure that you're going to turn in everybody's IPRA requests from here on out. Anybody who, who submits one at this substation. We'll do our, our best to handle everything per our policies. Okay, so you're going to ignore the law and just go by your so, policies. That's Well, then I'll be here every day. We're going to handle everything we possibly can per policy. Instead of law? So that's not okay. what I'm saying. Right. Well, there's a difference between policy and law. So what can I help you with today? Oh, I'm just sitting here observing your, public, okay. your uh, okay. customer service. Okay, is there service. anything I can help you with? Okay. Is there anything I can help you with? Yeah, I just told you. You can educate the entire office on making sure that they will obey the law okay. to uh, accept IPA requests and forward them to the custodian of records as the law requires you to do. Okay, so I'm just confirming right now, Mr. You don't need any police assistance right now. You're just plainly sitting here in the lobby observing. Okay, so I just need to go out there. Okay. Um, I've handled your request to ensure that your IPA request is handled. Okay, so I've it is. I've handled everything that you've asked of us today. Is that correct? I'm not sure. Are you, are, did you say you are going to forward my IPA request to the custodian of records? I'm going to call the IPA unit and find out the best route to handle your request. That's okay. Right. Well, let me know when you got a uh, for sure answer then. Thank you, LT. Have a good day. Okay. Mr. Ingram, yep. is that Do right? Do you want email confirmation or how would you like that? I'll be right here. You can come out and let me know. Okay. And I forgot your first name. Uh, it's James. James? Okay. Yes. James? Yeah. yeah. What was your first name? My first name? Yeah. Lieutenant? Your first name is Lieutenant. Yeah. So you think you're funny? No, that's what it starts with, Lieutenant. Uh, your, first, your mother will name you Lieutenant? No, I'm not going to get an argument with you, sir. You're, I, I want to make sure I handle you appropriately. No, you don't. And I want to make sure that you, your requests are being No, you don't. You want to be a passive-aggressive... So is there anything I can help you with? You today? just want to be a passive-aggressive dick, so don't tell me you want to handle anything because okay, you know I'm you don't. You. It doesn't I'm matter what you are or aren't doing. I can say fuck, bitch, shit, okay. damn, fuck, bitch, cunt, slut, whore, bitch, fuck. Okay, you understand? It doesn't matter what you are or aren't saying. Go ahead and go back there, handle my business, come out here and confirm with me when it's done. You understand? Do you understand, I'm Mr. Ingram? I'm confused. What are you confused about? I, I've told you I'm going to handle your request. Where what are you, are you on the spectrum? For? What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for you to confirm with me. So can I do that by email? So you can do that in person. I'll be right here. Do you have a hearing problem or is it just a listening problem? I don't know Go back there say. and finish what you I asked to you to do. To Stop talking to me until I'm until you're done with it. Thank you. Jeez. Am I in the way right here? No, sir. I'm okay, sorry. just making sure. I see there's a clipboard here. If I'm in the way, I'll absolutely move. Otherwise, I'll be here probably till closing. So just carry on. You're on my list now. Okay. Anything else I can help you with? I'm, I'm being cordial with you. I just told I'm you what you can do. Why do you keep asking the same question over and over again? Because you haven't You're not being cordial. You're being passive aggressive. Go. Do your job. Do you understand me, so if son? I, if I understand, you're directing me to do your request. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct. Okay. Yes. Is there any misunderstanding at this point? No. Then go. Fair enough. All right. Oh, yeah, he's a bully. I guarantee he intimidates most people, too. Sir? Yes. I was told that your request has been forwarded to the city clerk's office. Great. And that they will be contacting you. In the future, when you need to make IPRA requests, you can also do it online for your convenience. Okay, great. That's what I was asking you when I first came in here. I can do it online at that location. Yes. Okay. And they will, and that applies to any request, whether it be video or reports okay. okay all right but from now on when people come in and they do make their requests with you you guys will at least forward them to the uh uh to the proper custodian of records right of course will you really of course okay did i mean did, do you guys did you talk to your attorney or something to make sure that you understand the law so that i mean i just I, I hope you understand that i always manage to get what i need 
But you got to understand, as soon as I walk out the door, I then I get emails and phone calls from people. Hey, they never treat me like this. Does that make sense? I can't speak to that. I, I, I can, though. My, my job is to provide the best service that I'm able to provide. Okay. Unfortunately, as a civilian, that works a little different when you're when you're working with an officer. But I, I, I do feel like I've given you the best service I can today. Okay. okay. And in the future, we'll just forward those requests to the uh, to the custodian of records, right? Yes. Thank you so much, ma'am. Have a wonderful day. Uh -huh.